<laughs> it's time to say goodbye to grand gestures. That was fun. The grandest it gets these days is swiping right instead of left. As your local hopeless romantic, I'm sad to report romance is dead. Okay, um, I'm gonna kill you, Colin. What? Why? Because your love life's boring. <sighs> It's not that boring. You write a sex column with no sex. I do stuff. I should go. Make your column less boring. I have made $67,000 in gifts. Am I a prostitute? No. A gold digger? Maybe. The sugar baby. So are you going to get in? He's into arrangements. I could say something. Please don't. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Uh, I'd like to see you again. You gonna date this guy? No. Professor sounds hot. He's not hot, hot. He's kind of charming. For gonzo journalism, the writer has to become the story. Being solicited is just the first part. What happens afterwards, that's the story. There's something about him that I couldn't put my finger on. So, what the hell? Wealthy older people supporting struggling younger ones is nothing revolutionary. Maybe relationships aren't supposed to be for love, but for survival. Why don't you have a girlfriend? I don't want to spend my time texting or fighting. A mutually beneficial relationship. I was a sugar baby. The hopeless romantic is dragging in all the hits. I loved your last column. I don't write a column, so, okay. My column is anonymous. Why? You're not a hooker. I can't do this right now. This isn't how this works. I don't know what being a hooker feels like. What if it feels just like this? How journalism works is you follow the story, not your feelings. You okay? This would be the moment where it would seem all hope is lost. But this isn't a rom-com from the 90s. Let's make a run for it. This is my story. Then I got bored when I was baking, so I sprinkled in a bunch of Molly. No. Are you are you okay?